Hi everyone, Dr. Brian Steiner here at Wilkins Spinal Care in Mount Pleasant, PA. Today we're going to talk about facet syndrome. It's another condition that can be treated with our decompression service. I didn't go downstairs today in our decompression room because I just wanted to change up the uh, scenery a little bit. Um, facet syndrome is very, very common. Before I explain what facet syndrome is, I'm actually going to explain the facet joints real quick. So we have our four sections of the spine here. I'm just gonna pull one apart here real quick and I'm gonna push this off to the side. Next week when I do degenerative disc disease, I'll talk a little bit more of those stages there. So facet joints, I'm gonna have the camera person zoom in a little bit. The facet joints are right there. Okay, you have that articulation and joint. Again, a joint is when two areas are connected. And then you have on the lumbar spine, you have a facet joints. This, these are lumbar spines here. You also have cervical and thoracic facet joints. There's 48 total in the entire human spine. So these articular processes are called the superior and the inferior articular process. And they join together to have gliding motions. A facet joint is a considered a synovial joint, which allows for that lubrication of the movement, um, gliding motions. And of course, in the cervical, um, thoracic, and lumbar spine, they're all a little bit different based off of the orientation. So, Whenever facet syndrome sets in, another name for it actually is called facet arthritis. And arthritis is something we uh, will routinely more explain further down the road here. But obviously as we go down the stages of the spine, if you look at these bones, this is a healthy one, stage one, stage two, and then obviously more progression. And a facet arthritis situation, look at those joint spaces now. This is the worst case scenario. Look at pinching on that nerve right there. So a facet syndrome has the same pain presentation as someone with a disc bulge, someone with a disc herniation, arthritis, degenerative disc disease. Can our decompression service help someone with facet syndrome? Yeah, absolutely, we see it every day. Um, now how is facet syndrome diagnosed? There's x-rays, there's MRIs, there's CTs. Not always the most conclusive findings though. The biggest conclusive finding of a facet syndrome is by doing a block injection. And if there's relief when you do a block injection, that is a confirmation of facet syndrome. So how do you treat it? It just depends on the case. Someone who has facet syndrome in phase one is gonna be completely different to someone who's in phase four, okay? So facet syndrome, if it's a mild case, therapeutic therapy, you know, stim, stretches, chiropractic adjustments, a lot more of a non-invasive type of a procedure. Someone in phase four, yeah, I'm gonna wanna do decompression with them because again, there's that pinch on that nerve. It's gonna open up that space there and take pressure off of the nerve root. Not many people know a lot about facet syndrome and when they do, it's because they don't know really much about facet joints. That's why I wanted to give you guys a quick uh, idea of what facet joints are. You can get them, you have them in the lumbar spine, the thoracic and the cervical, and they all have that motion that allows us to do flexion, extension, rotation, lateral flexion, um, so on and so forth. So very short video today, nothing crazy, nothing in the great detail. A um, couple more weeks, I'm gonna talk about different conditions that we can treat on our decompression service. Um, then we're gonna move on to neuropathy a little bit. Neuropathy is another service that we have in this practice that I've talked about when I very first started doing these blogs. Talk about that for a few weeks, and then we'll start talking about different conditions that can be managed with chiropractic, neuropathy, and decompression. But if you have any questions about facet syndrome, um, feel free to reach out to me, give us a call. I'll be happy to answer any questions for you. Otherwise, uh, enjoy this nice day we're having, and I uh, will talk to you in the next video.